Hey everybody, MTG Noob here on the draw with the Grixis deck in block constructed. I will keep this hand. Seems pretty decent outside of not having a black source. So we got to keep in mind that we need to potentially draw black source, although we have Vessel of Endless Ranks, which is pretty much like a black source. Okay, so we'll plop a mountain down so our sulfur falls come in untapped. Our opponent did mull to six. I don't know what we're playing against. I know tokens is still banned pretty much and nerfed in this format. Okay, can't play anything so I will pass. Depends on what he does next turn. Like I might want to dig with Forbidden Alchemy, but I don't really have anything in hand that I want to cast, so I think I'm just going to see if I can cast this first of all. Okay. That's fine. So he is casting Forbidden Alchemy in response to my Vessel of Endless Rest. Ooh. That's a saucy meatball. And then I'm going to put his Forbidden Alchemy on the bottom so he can't flash it back eventually. I don't really care about the other cards in his graveyard. Okay. Soren's all good. We need a land now to kind of kill Soren. And that's what we draw. Because uh, then next turn we can deal with his creature in a lot of ways. Now, if he also hits Tamio on his turn, that's just pretty bad for us. I think we're going to be beat at that point. He'll shut down a land and we don't have any action. And we can only flash back the Devil's Play for two. So we kind of got to hope this is not Tamiyo, which it looks like it... Ooh. All right. Could live with that. Hmm, that was not the land we wanted to see there. Okay, so... Curse we cannot cast. Tribute's just gonna get us this guy. Sack this for a swamp, first of all. We could ravings and try to hit something, but I don't really like that. I think we're going to pass and leave, like, alchemy up. Can't quite get both of his guys, so we're going to take some damage here. It would have been nice to be able to kill his blood gift demon. But no such luck. I think I have to alchemy here. I don't think I can... Um, cast tribute or desperate ravings or mill here so we will cast forbidden alchemy um, I think I want the lone reverend although I won't be playing it now the thing is I can't kill this guy yet so I can't risk desperate ravings there I don't want to let him get another card so I'm gonna go for this here which will be us casting this 
and then attempting to kill his guy, but having a strong feeling he has dissipate. Yep. Oh, that's just even worse of a beating than I thought. Okay, this is a pretty interesting deck I'm playing against. It's like uh, Esper Control. Yeah, so now we're going to take 8 and go to 5. And then we'll see. I guess he wants to, you know, flash the Angel in to save the damage. So we don't take 8 there, excuse me. Okay, so he's at 20. He's going to hit us in the face. Ouch. That's not fun. I guess he's just playing protect his guy. I guess I can try to burn it out, but if he has another restoration angel, I'm in big, big trouble. I don't think curses are really going to do anything against him. Maybe I want to dig. Yeah, you know what? I want to dig with Desperate Ravings. I think it's time to be desperate. Okay, we'll play a land. I don't think we need to cast this yet. Now remember, uh, I never claim to be the greatest control player. So if you see things that I'm doing wrong, by all means, let me know. I don't want to give him an you know, you know what? I got to cast this now. So I don't want to give him an extra draw step with his blood gift demon, who's pretty much smacking me hard in the face right now. He is just protecting the hell out of this blood gift demon. With these restoration angels. Alright, I guess I'm gonna say okay to this. And then on his turn, I will alchemy. Um, flashback. Desperate ravings. Alright, so we're gaining life, but he is totally doing his work here. With this blood gift demon. Interesting combination of cards. I kind of like this list. Seems cool. Okay, so we go to 11. He doesn't even need to really do anything else. Okay, which Bane Orb? Not too boy now. Jeez, so many curses. Go to seven. I could have been trying to mill him out here, but I don't think it's relevant. Well, he can't save his demon, but Thalia is pretty strong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I'm going to try to get him with this. One, two. Makes him red. Three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Because I have both my drown yards. And if I'm able to somewhat stabilize then I can cast Curse and start milling him out. But once he hits a Planeswalker, I think I'm just done. I'll gladly take two here. Alright, well that definitely saves me a bunch of trouble.
play a curse. Gonna pay one extra. Okay, so we have him cursed. Can't really do anything else. We are gonna try to win off of Mill now, I think. Can play the Lone Reverend here, but I don't think it's necessary. I think now we go to do plan mill you out. Okay, we're hoping not to mill a forbidden alchemy on him or for him, so to speak. Because now he has seven mana and that would be bad. Okay, so Snapcaster, that doesn't really do much. Alright, I don't see a reason to not keep milling here. Probably could put him on a faster clock by dropping this guy, but if he has something like a tribute to hunger, that's bad. Okay. Assembly worker, that's a good one. Hmm. I think he's just being cute on his end. As we go for the slow grind again. Evil twin. He's so evil. Yeah, he does have the tributes. Okay, so... We're doing things. Okay, barter and blood. So he's very based against creatures as well. I think I'll get my mill on here. Got a, got that good feeling about that mill. That was a terrible mill. And we got a Timea, which is very good, but it, the reason it was terrible was because if I milled a Forbidden Alchemy, it gave him something to do with his mana, so keep that in mind in the future. <clears throat> and the reason I'm not burning him out here is because I think it might be a little bit faster at this point, but I've already committed to this plan. He's got a ghost quarter in there, too. So, right now I can spend a bunch of mana on pillars and devil's play and possibly take him down from 19, but I think the drown yard plan is slightly better. That's completely fine. I think I'll discard this dude. Little duders over here. So this is, I guess, just Planeswalker control. Versus the power of Grixis. Mwahahaha. I'm milling you out and making you miserable. Mwahahaha. Look how look how mean I am. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. Yep, that's my thing. I'm doing things with this Grixis deck. I don't even know what he's flashing back there. Uh, yeah, we'll be... Killing this Liliana here. Slow grind. So he's at 11 cards, so basically, mill, mill, see you, Bill. 
Sounds good to me. Ten cards in library. Don't you love that when people say library? It's library. Ha ha ha. Alright, so we're going to mill and we had a bunch of stuff. Alright, so he didn't get to protect his blood gift demon there 100%. But it seems like a very interesting deck. It seems like we are playing control on control crime. I don't want this. I do, however, want all these dissipates. Kind of don't want this. I'll accept another pillar of flames in its place. And I don't know if I want Ancient Grudges. I think I have a feeling he's probably bringing in Witchbane Orbs, if he has them. So, that being said, I feel these are essentially very weak against him. Like, he has Snapcaster and Thalia, but not the greatest of combinations. Remember, we're just cold to Witchbane Orb. I don't think I need to bring in Witchbane Orb against him. We'll cut that. I feel maybe Curse is too much. Yeah, I don't think Curse is good. Let's bring in three Ancient Grudge. We'll keep two Curses. I think having too many Curses is not very good in this matchup. Alright, this hand's very acceptable as long as I play out my Drown Yard first um hmm. all right I think I'm gonna let's see if I play out my drown yard then on two I could cast this and three I'll get an about no I think I gotta wait on that desperate ravings I think I have to get a blue source here because giving him turn 4 allows him to possibly land a Planeswalker. And that's going to be problematic for us. All of his Planeswalkers in our current hand are just very difficult for us to deal with. Outside of having a Dissipate. Which still we might not even be able to do much with it. Okay, so... Man, I think... We're just gonna not lose any of our lands with this currently. Okay, curse... Here comes a Planeswalker, I would assume. Wow, really? No Planeswalker? Alright, I think we gotta try to lose our Dissipate, which is what I was worried about. They're just playing land after land. We wouldn't have been able to cast or dissipate anyway. Hope this isn't... Ugh. Yeah, we're going to lose. <laughs> the fact that he just had that is pretty strong. Alright, uh, I'm not really worried about that. I would have tapped the Drown Yard. Tamea's just annoying at this point. She's not really doing much, but she's going to get her work in. Well, now I see why he did that. Um, it's kind of a race at this point, with the decision being, do I keep trying to drown yarn him? I think the answer is yes. So that being said, since I want to keep Drown Yarding him, I can't worry about this Evolving Wilds being red. He's just 
hating on that mountain. He's got so many cards where the, the line of play I'm taking here to mill him out is just not strong enough with an active planeswalker. Like he's probably just sitting on counter spells. Although it did not seem like he wanted to use them. Okay, so once again, I don't want to take him off of his drown yard logic. Tameo at non ultimate is fine if all she's doing is just sitting there and tapping things down. He's at 40 cards. So he's got a very, 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 very long clock. before we actually get to mill him out here. Oh, hit some good stuff. We will get the red source here. Because we want to be able to blow stuff up if we need to. Let's see. Do we want to tap out here and try to hit Smeo down to two and then possibly rip a red source? Or do we want to keep milling him? I think we're going to keep milling him. I mean, if he gets her ultimate, I'm not really worried about the spells he has in his graveyard. And that just might be wrong on my behalf, thinking that way. But I think we're fine. And just keep playing lands out. Like, if he goes tap your drown yard, then I'm okay with this. I would think at this point, I tap my black source. Okay, that's fine. Oh, he's got the Witchbane Orb. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, Blood Gift Demon makes an appearance now. He's so gifty. Okay. Usually during the control matches, the commentary wanes a little bit, so I apologize if uh, it's not the stellarist. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, now I have options. I can... Yeah, I think I'm going to tribute him now. Snapcaster. All right, well, I can't respond to that. Probably should have seen that coming. He did leave up and telegraph that two mana. Pretty hard. So we gain some incremental value there. I guess on this turn I'm probably going to use my lighthouse to draw a card. I'm thinking if he goes ultimate on this, then... Oh, he just went for it. So that means he just has another one. Okay, was not expecting that card. <laughs> I think that Devil's Play is bye-bye. Devil's Play, you so bye-bye. 
Man, that's pretty beating, man. Look at this combo he's got going on me. He's just stripping my hand here. That is pretty cool. Not something you see every day. So Knight Terrors goes back to hand. Takes that Devil's Play. Cool stuff. Definitely cool stuff. Alright, I think it makes sense to just Lighthouse here. Draw a card. And then chuck that. Okay, so Drown Yard, we're taking some damage. Hmm. Vessel of Endless Ranks, and we'll put Dissipate back on the bottom of our library. And then we're going to, I guess, lose our hand for the most part ooh boo on ghost quarter <laughs> ghost quarter is that I accept oh my god this is awful. I need my other island. And he's just going to ghost quarter my wind conditions away. That is not good. Night terrors it up. Well, I could desperate ravings here in response, which I think I'm going to do. Because I would assume he's going to take the ravings. Um, he's just going to get pretty much everything, so I'll just say okay, and then I'll put him down. Man, didn't think the Tomeo I emblem was going to be this powerful, but obviously he's got a deck that's well-crafted. Oh, you Moon Sage. Yeah, I would think that that's probably the right play. I mean, I could alchemy here, but I don't even know what I would alchemy for. I think we just scoop this and play game three. Yeah, that's anti-synergistic. That's funny. Man, alright. Note to self. <laughs> Tomeo emblem kicks my butt. Okay, so... He does have the... Classic... Witchbane orb of his own. Seems like we got to keep a stronger hand. Kind of don't mind taking the curses out altogether. Maybe bring in these lone reverence. He still has ancient. Uh, he still has all his removal. So let's put in a barter and blood over it. And a guy slam to try to pick him off. Alright, yes, we'll play first. And yes, we're going to try to speed this up. This is kind of similar to the hand they kept last time. But I'm going to keep this again. I can't, I only have four counter spells in the deck. 
So I can't sit here and just be like, okay, I'm gonna get get a counter spell. Alright, I think I'm gonna be getting a red source with this evolving wild, obviously. Okay, so he cracks his. Let me see what he gets. Planes, that kind of gives me a little bit more info on where he's going. Possibly Thalia on turn two, or possibly a Soren. Okay, I think I will Ravings here, even though it doesn't seem very good. Like, I lost an Alchemy, which is fine. And I think I'll Ravings again on his end step here. Yeah, it's probably the Thalia. Okay. Okay, so I will discard. Let me, in response, do this so I can get two more cards deep. Okay, we chuck the land. <clears throat> I'm going to chuck. This is interesting because if I chuck the red source. Then I can't Devil's Play. Well, I think I'll Devil's Play over the course of next two turns. I want this. Yeah, I'll chuck the red source. No, that seems bad. I want to be able to do everything in my hand. But currently I don't have... two islands anyway. Okay, so... I can put Liliana at one, um, which I just think I kind of just have to do that. And then I'll finish her off on my turn, hopefully, barring that he doesn't have a counter spell of any variety. Seems like when this deck doesn't, it seems like it's having trouble dealing with Planeswalkers. Like now if he goes Soren, I'm in just really dire straits. Because I can't deal with multiple planeswalkers. And I don't know if there's actually a solution to that. Okay. do this now. I mean, I probably should have held this in case he has Restoration Angel. Um, makes me assume he likes all of his cards in his hand, that he didn't want to chuck one. Okay, that's actually fine, since we have the Ancient Grudge in hand. Search up our remaining islands. And then we will blow the crap out of that up here. <laughs> okay, he lulls. Ah, oh, he's got the ghost quarter. Boo for ghost quarters. I guess we'll cavern Liliana and swamp we get. Yes, I will take a swamp, it seems. Do you want to flash anything back? Wonder what he's thinking of playing there. Streaming Grotto is good. Um, we'll just tap out for Forbidden Alchemy. 
end step. I'll show you my graveyard because it's getting somewhat large. We have one Devil's Play in there. Forbidden Alchemy. An Ancient Grudge. Things of that nature. So we'll see what we want to take. We probably just want to take a Dissipate to have a hard counter here for things of, you know, like, oh, crap, that's going to be annoying. Um, Yeah, and we'll just pass the turn. Like, we're not really worried about its creatures. We're more or less just worried about his... Planeswalkers. Okay, so I can one. I can get them for seven here. And seven. Yeah, he's not putting any pressure on me, so I think I'm going to dissipate his threat. And then that's it. Then I'll start going to the dome with devil's plays could be wise just to do them now is this a restoration angel All right, I could possibly dissipate that but I don't think I want to Chuck's Island Island Swamp Alchemy Hmm. Okay, I'm going to allow that to happen. Since he's going to be able to get my barter and blood. <laughs> this bazooka, Matt, he likes to laugh. It's funny, but now he knows I have the dissipate. I think I might nug him here with the Geist Flame. Put him in a 19. Alright, so... Now we're just going to start burning him out because he's starting to talk crap and I'm not a fan of that. So we got him at 15. So a few Devils play later, we should be uh, more than happy to attempt to kill our opponent. I mean, we're eventually just going to tap out here. And Devils play. So Evil Twin Thalia and Isolated Chapel hit the bin. Sure. Thalia does nothing. I have tribute. He knows I have tribute. So we will play it out. Because it will be annoying for that dude to be in play. Okay, Restoration Angel, that's fine by me. Okay, so I guess he's blinking Thalia to make it harder for me to kill him with Devil's Plays. But we will still be able to get there. Even if we have to pay one more for our Devil's Play. So let's craft our plan here. We're going to untap, hopefully draw land, get him for 8. 
He's going to have a 2-1. He's going to probably stick like a planeswalker. Then we're going to hopefully, excuse me, draw another land and then Devil's Play him for another 7 or 8. It seems like, uh, seems pretty good. Okay, I think he's, um, we're either lagging or he's stalling. So we'll give this a little bit of time. I don't want to, uh, not bring you the end of the match here, but it looks like that's a possibility. Okay, no, it's not. Which is good, since I've vested 40 minutes of my life into this control mirror. All right, so he's got a 3-4. Okay, so we could sever that, but I think it's time to just go for that. No sense in waiting anymore. Put all our mana into this. Get him for seven. Put him at eight. And then potentially top deck a land. And I mean, if that's not the case, I have two devil's plays in the yard that flash back for five, which is very nice as well. Haha, uh -huh, he said bad game. He said, bad game. What a tight Bazooka Matt you are. Bazooka Matt, it was a pleasure. You're, you're tight now. You've made my day. All right, guys. Well, you saw the Grixis deck. You saw it played poorly. You saw it played, hopefully, a little bit better. Obviously, I took lines of play that may or may not have been correct. So you can always point those out, and that would be appreciated. Thanks for watching. Check out the YouTube channel. Subscribe there. Check out our website, themtgnoob.com. And most importantly, follow us on trip Twitch. Thanks.